What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing Twin Mirror. It's a game I found on Steam. Um, or not Steam. Sorry. Epic Game Store. And I know I could edit that out. I'm just going to leave it because, you know, I mess up from time to time. And it's late. It's almost midnight here. But anyway, back to the intro. This is a game I found on the Epic Games Store. <laughs> and it's a, like an interactive story mode game. Um, kind of like Man of Medan, Little Hope, uh, games like that. Uh, Left for Dawn. Left for Dawn. Until Dawn. Okay. Like I said, excuse me. Because it is kind of late. All right. But anyway, we're going to jump into this and see how far we go and how this first episode goes of Twin Mirror, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's go have some fun. I feel like I should be playing the Jeopardy theme in loading screens for you guys. <laughs> The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight. Definitely got that West Virginia accent down, right? WBCK, <laughs> the Bassman Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affected. Got a home for sale there. Little humble abode. <laughs> I thought he was going to hit that light. Oh, I did. I was like, okay, we're going to start like that. Going to start like that, hitting light poles and shit. <laughs> Time, Time to kill before the funeral. Time to kill. Might as well spend it here. All right. Let's see. Yeah, can I check that phone? He threw his phone in the back seat. Get it. What if it's a important phone call? Huh? This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. <laughs> can I run? What well, was this? Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Okay, it doesn't look like you can run. I'm hitting everything. Everything, everything. I came up here every chance I could. Did you? One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. I'll be the judge of that. Inspect. I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral. 
given how I left things. Yowzers. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Yo, that is a small town. Look at that. <laughs> my hometown. Oh, I already got that one. It felt more imposing okay. in my nightmares. Strange to think of basswood without its mine. Founded in 1865, this small mining town quickly grew along with the coal industry. At its peak, basswood produced more coal than any other town in West Virginia, with basswood mine being one of the most consistent coal mines in the U.S. How about that? Basswood is also a wonderful place to simply let nature be nature. Outside of the Appalachian Trail, with hundreds of miles of hiking trails, a perfect example of the true West Virginian way of life. Basswood is both a reminder of its past and a glimpse into its bright future. <laughs> Had to read it like that for you guys, okay? Okay, forgive me. I felt like that's the only way this could be worth. There we go. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. I'm walking sideways and they're like I'm drunk. What's up? I get the feeling it still sees some use, given how bad the coverage is up here. These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. When hunting carry with you any and all required permits and licenses, do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol. That should be rule number one. <laughs> hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and then a half an hour before sunrise. A lot of people were upset when it closed, but not upset enough to fix it. It's like a story of life right there, right? I left a sandwich Society. in it for a whole week <laughs> once. Dad never let me forget it. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. I was like, you're like a wolf right off. That's it. Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? <laughs> That's some mind. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> What do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others. 
even in me. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no, I wasn't listening. Yeah, visually, the, the, the visuals in this game are pretty crazy. I'm loving this. Come on, Anna, look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? <laughs> Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam. What are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. <laughs> what? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee. Psych! Ring. <laughs> April Fool's. What else would I be doing? <laughs> she just left that man hanging. You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. Ouch! We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Yeah, you left your phone in the back seat. Oh no, it's right there! Okay, he grabbed it. Like a read journal entry. Okay. Return to the car, you've wasted enough time. Whoops, there was something over there. Oh, I don't have any memento for her. Probably for none of them. That's me, Sam. That's his best friend who passed away. I missed the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The one thing nobody good likes news, to do. Though, at least. <laughs> You don't have to do it alone. So who's that guy? Is that like his voice inside his head? Subconscious talking to him. Twin mirror. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Oh, shit. That one's gonna be waiting out there to pop through as soon as he has signal again.
Yo, hello, kid. Joel, huh? Nick's, uh, Nick's daughter. Yowzers. This one's gonna be a tough conversation. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. So her nickname's Bug, and she's the one I sent that text to a moment ago. The Nick's not gonna care how late I am. But that doesn't make me feel like an asshole now. <laughs> so. You left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, Ow. listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Ow, that's, that's Thanks a... for being honest. Yeah, I'll brutally honest. You're always honest. at least honest. <clears throat> Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to dad it doesn't make sense he wouldn't have just crashed he drove like a grandma you know that it's wrong i don't buy it i'm just in town for the funeral joan i'm not a pi or a cop you're the closest <laughs> thing i can talk to will you just look into it muley please she wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? Well, here comes the subconscious again. <laughs> what if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. <clears throat> this is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least How leave can the you kid say no out to that it. face, though? It Look would be that. cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other, even if it means disappointing her again. It's your call. Oh, boy. Uh, it's a tough one, ain't it? I think I gotta do this. My gut's telling me this. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Watch me. Who says I'm hiding <laughs> out here? I do. See you inside. I'm not coming inside. I'm staying out here. I'm gonna jam some tunes, browse social media, and watch videos on YouTube. Hopefully, this channel. <laughs> Pac Man. 
Yo, I so hope we get to play Pac-Man or something on like an arcade game. I just see it coming. Watching that memory earlier. Yo, that car was like hauling ass. Where are the cops in this town? This looks like Polito Bay, to to GTA, Walter. right? <laughs> I'll have to sooner or later. <clears throat> Coal miners haven. Same old town, same old bar. The more things change. The kid just walked into the bar too. I just realized that. What's up, dude? Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes, it is, mother. Trust me. Oh, Sam. <laughs> I'm here. sorry. That's I'll call you back. Funny. <laughs> Samuel Higgs. Two long years since we last saw each other. You're very late, you know. You completely missed the funeral. I'm here for Nick's wake. This guy's Captain least. Obvious. You have to bring it in for a hug. Fuck off. It's a basswood back in town requirement. Oh, hell no. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances. You think good. I'm hugging this? No. In times like these. Nah, man. Still Why you gotta make it weird? Being touched? <sighs> Is that anyone? We're big huggers out here. Big huggers. You've never understood that. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, yeah, we're all kind of like in a pandemic, man. We can't be doing that. We get that. the chance, yeah, we should catch foot. up. We should six really foot. catch up. I'll see you inside. Yeah, you got a mask on. Want to give me a hug? I don't think so. Why do I feel like I can do something with this? Okay. Oh, that's her bike, ain't it? That smile she had when I gave it to her. She could barely get on it back then. That's a sweet bike, though. I like it. Nice gift. One of Nick's favorite matchups. Might be the first game he'll miss. Pathfinders versus the who? Harpooners. Did I say Pathfinder? That was Pathfinders. <laughs> Ugh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, here we go. I have a feeling this is gonna be fun. Oh, didn't I say go in? Come on now! Here we go. It's not delaying anymore. Go. Basswood's finest right there. Hope you weren't in trouble, big Mr. Guy. Samuel Higgs. Oh, here Higgs out investigative reporter. Kick his ass, sea bass. <laughs> Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. Listen to those accents. I'd accent. gladly slash your tires. Yo, dude. Would that mean you couldn't leave town. And you are leaving town right after. Yo, that. asshole. Just really embracing those Hicks stereotypes, huh, Joel? Yeah, Joel. Oh, you want to go, big boy? It's one of them bean and potato Gentlemen. dudes. The bean and potato eating motherfuckers. We get you good old boys another round. Mighty kind of you, Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Is that the equivalent like of hold me back? Yes. Hold me back. <laughs> Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking rednecks jumping down my throat. And then I'm the one that's the problem. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. Shame that. You watch yourself. Wow, oh, real new deputy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. Up, That's what people do, right? Can't say I missed that. 
Oh, he's Walter. Is he gonna ask me for another Waiter? fucking out? So, I had to throw them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize... Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex-muckracker. Join us, join us. How was the funeral? Wasn't there. Setting up for this. Everyone came, most of the town it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years. I'm feeling bad My I didn't reporter. give this guy a hug. What do you even he seems say too lovable him? not to give him a hug. At least a high five or something. He loved people. Sharing things. Having fun together. Take video games. He didn't even care yes! if it was a cooking game or shooting game or what. <laughs> as long as we were playing together. I always prefer my games analog. Chess, Go. You two did right, you're seem getting to boring. Them, though. It's the small things. <laughs> like he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot in Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once too. Can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas. Hold Enough. up, safe spot in Pac-Man. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Oh, I'm be honest. This guy. I spend friendly. all day doing nothing. I don't even count days. They just blur together. Nick's death barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. Time Jesus. heals most wounds. Some it just makes worse. This man is Sounds honest like you need to something man. To pull you uh, out of your I tell you what, he's oh, I think really I've taken honest. enough of your gents' time. Go, mingle, circulate, but you must join us for an actual round later. You must. I must. Oh, Walter, can I ask you something? Yeah, Questions are the fountainhead of knowledge. For exactly. Nick's crash. Was there anything suspicious about it? I asked myself the same thing. The very same thing. It did seem odd. Young Nicholas, a careful man in all things, including driving. I looked into it myself, you know what I found? What? A tragic accident with nothing amiss. I am both relieved and saddened to say. Ah. Life is rarely like a crime thriller, and while okay, I don't mind I, you I asking, that was a lie. some might find it a distasteful conversation at a man's memorial. Nice. Especially from you. Oh, me. Keep that yeah. in mind. See that you do, my boy. See that you do. All right. I'm looking at that Pac-Man game over there. That's the guy who got the mind closed. That's the guy who got the mind closed. What did I do? That's where Nick and I sat every time he dragged me out for drinks <coughs> after work. I got the mind clues. Oh, hello. Sammy. Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had She's this stomach thing teacher, lately. She's a school teacher, isn't she? Always churning. <laughs> uh, and this thing with Nick? His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern emerged of willful negligence. You are a bulldog. A dangerous man to anyone using power to exploit others. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Yo, these people seem so odd, man. Like, they are definitely hiding some shit. I want to play this damn thing. No more Come on. than 3,000 milligrams. Nick and I spent I so much money on this machine. Yo, let's plug this in. Let's go. Okay, I guess not. Hello, Sheriff. Bess always had a soft spot for Nick. I think she liked his work ethic. This guy, I don't trust one Pretty bit. courageous of him to try his luck in Basswood, given the state of things. Mr. Pharmacy Man. Uh, hello, Kathy. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. 
You think it this is the mom? I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. I'll miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick oh. and I were never close That's after the, the breakup. That's not the mom. That's the ex. Joan's <laughs> never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. To right I don't now? do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. I've got a feeling I need to keep that on the low low that I'm looking into it. Because these people... But I'll try. They act Sam, all sus. I'm going to hold you to that. Let me go over there and play it. Oh yeah, come on. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. <laughs> you find every last bite. The mind closing wasn't your fault. Your Kinda investigation was. just hurried things up. <laughs> Probably say some lies, you know. Hi, Dad. I'm Yuli. You piece of language. <laughs> Gamer ring. Is that a wedding ring? Yo. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. I've done that a few times on Pac-Man back in the day. Oh, it's Smack just, the shit out of the arcade. It feels like the right Get thing to do. Get tossed out. <laughs> What's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? I won't argue that. That's kind of the point. I'll talk you to her about it when I show her the ring. <laughs> if you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. I thought I was going to get the play. No such luck. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. <laughs> Happier times. Bug was so small back then. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Those two were a great team. Look at us. Dang, it's a little hard sometimes. Is there a way to zoom in? I can't get it. <laughs> I wonder who took that picture. That's, there it goes. Oh, he was more there of a best go. friend than a dad. Had a little struggle at times to get the uh, view just right. Bug was so small back then. Oh, I already got that one. Okay. Nothing on that. One. All right. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. bet. Who's this guy now? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. That wasn't the reason I left town. Oh, you think it was that girl of yours? <laughs> you left because the town hated your guts. What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which <laughs> I am. Can't imagine why. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. Yo, dude, I'm about to this knock coming you the from fuck the off the chair. Didn't know Talking about my friend like that. Journalism well, he's degree. dead. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. 
Oh, you gonna rock it, huh? Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Yo, carrying a gun while drunk off his ass. Responsible gun ownership right there. <laughs> You know, fuck yeah, fuck this dude. Like you'd care. Ah, uh, not too much. But suit yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which... Uh-oh. This is Anna. This is gonna be the awkward reunion. As time draws near, my dear, as dear, when you. Yo, who's cutting fucking onions? Fuck out of here with that shit. That was beautiful, man. <laughs> Yeah, if you're wondering, uh, Anna used to play it almost every night. When she stopped she after her car. father's accident. I got the music muted only because I don't want to get it copyrighted. And I'm not sure if it went or not. We're new here. <laughs> It's gonna get awkward. It's gonna get awkward. Okay. I've missed you. Why'd it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? <laughs> what do you say to the ex, right? <laughs> to keep it from getting awkward. I won't lie. It really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. <laughs> and long, and long memories. memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. I wish everyone else understood that. People are scared. Mad. You were easy to blame. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's... Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. 
you know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. Oh, now it's getting real awkward. <laughs> but you and, and I'm gonna make going it more on. awkward with that one. When did one. this happen? A few months ago. He, he never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, that's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... This was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel... Heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies? Working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this is a real can of worms. This is a wake. <laughs> oh shit. I know that. Do you? Oh boy. This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You oh, always do this. Shit. You always... I, I knew it was gonna get awkward. I get it. I just... You... You're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Then drink and cry all night. You do what you need to do. See you around. Tell you oh, Come. We go. Have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But first... Or three. Hold up. And then I'll go. Give me that damn picture back. You broke the bro code, man. Give me that picture back. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Shacking up with my ex. He broke the code. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Don't grill me on that. Why? I can't. Okay. I guess you can't interact with everything just because it's silent. <laughs> Some people can play this game drunk. Anna was best at three beers. Let's go have some drinks with the... Who was it? Who called me over? This guy? Let's do it. Oh, hold on. What's this wood carving? It's supposedly the spirit of coal. Doesn't really belong here anymore. Alright, here we go. Let's get some drinks. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel. Samuel. That's how every great story Samuel. starts, Join right? Us. We were just sharing stories <laughs> about dear Nicholas. Let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Well, by himself, with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a hoard. He was always good with Joan, though Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours, mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. And he'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The this friend guy, of age, man. and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, Few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. 
Burns. That from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Okay, get a drink on that one. <laughs> <coughs> your underage child doing drink? You have no control over her? You think you're losing I wasn't doing anything! Don't no, touch dude. me! Joan! Leave me alone. Uh, you guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not you talk tell to people them, that way. Yo, is I'm, cop really getting all I'm physical sorry, with everyone. a kid? She's just so... Nice police oh. work there. That was quite heavy handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She'll be okay. He's <laughs> gonna knock him back now. I'd say that went well. Ish. Ish. <laughs> you got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? <laughs> I am so very sorry. You stuck in existence, stuck in my head, just a terrible state you're in. Get your anger and sarcasm out of your system. Better you take it out on me than anyone else. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. <laughs> Can you be in a small town no. like this? Stay out. <laughs> you have ten minutes before we charge you for another day. Okay, okay. What kind of monsters have a checkout at nine? For real, though. What happened last night? <laughs> yeah, most hotels like oh, noon or some shit. Pills plus drinking. That was not my best idea. Did I black out or what? Ugh. Think straight. Late for checkout. They can wait a bit more. <laughs> Didn't even get under the covers. Glad I even made it to the bed. 
Yeah, this man makes medication with the damn alcohol. Oh, That's a great combination. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. And yes, I like was a sarcasm. Jackhammer in my left temple. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. <laughs> At least it won't take me long to get my things. Hold up, what? You see the blood on that shirt? What the fuck? That's not good, that's... Yeah, that's not good at get all. Get this. What did I do? the right door. You need to steady yourself. Okay. Hold on, how do you know which door? I have no idea. Okay, so one of these I gotta go through. I think it's the one that says steady yourself. Focus. 
You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. <laughs> no, no. Right, we're gonna try this one. It says steady yourself. There it is. Okay. I was so confused. But I guess they were gonna... Oh no, this ain't right! Shit! Oh no, it was right. Okay, danger. I am a killer behind you. What the fuck? You're a murderer. Oh no 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 no. I guess I guess you're the one that doesn't have any writing. Oh, I bet you I could do that one that says thank you. Woo! Sam, Samuel, focus. Focus on anything other than the fear. Okay, okay. That was intense. Are we done with that? Are we done with the running? Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Okay, let's see. I guess I want to choose the right mirror again. Focus, choose, act. If I run, I'll keep running. When you face what happens. One. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. <laughs> that was fun. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. Last said, place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. <laughs> the squeaky nail gets hammered down. I think down. he did wake Maybe up Maybe don't dead. play lone wolf <laughs> detective. I can poke around without making waves. Mostly. It used to be my job. You're great at finding facts. Not quite so good at blending in. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. He just told like his subconscious to get out of his head. I think on that note, we're going to go back to the main menu and end this video right there. I think that's a good stopping point. And we can jump right back into wherever that is next time. I think that's a good cliffhanger to end on. And I hope you enjoyed it. It was uh, pretty intense. Uh, that last part was crazy, right? But anyway, you know what to do if you want to see more. Let me know. Let me know with your likes, with your shares, with your comments, with all that stuff. And if you really enjoyed it, then hit that subscribe button, you know? And if you guys enjoy this one, we'll keep doing it. I might just do it anyway. I don't know. You let me know. 
It's late. Peace out, y'all. I'm going to bed.